So Prophet Lovi drops a very shocking bombshell response to the clip that we have been seeing where uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes was actually laying hands on Prophet Lovi and Fashion Java. So there's a lot of controversy on actually just that. And it's it brings in a lot of different types of questions from different people because we all know of the ongoing scandal that uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes has. So let us just get in and just uh, listen to Prophet Lovi's response because after that, there's a lot of questions that I have on the same because of just the way he's responding. There are so many different questions I have that I'll bring to actually a point and then we can just uh, have a look at that. So let's get into the video. I'm being honest. <laughs> no, Christians don't use their brain. <laughs> um, I, I was sent this video that, and I and I, saw, I was sent one, and I saw others. They were like, "Oh, uh, Prophet Lovi gets anointed by Bishop Jakes." Ah. The old man prayed for me, and I thank God that he prayed for me. A hundred percent. I have no feelings about it, except great gratitude to God that a man that God has used for a long time to be able to pray for me. I thank God. Now, you have to understand this. Oh, hold on for a second. I didn't go to this man for credibility. I was invited. I actually wasn't going to go. Because of honor, I went. I didn't go there looking for somebody to... Do you realize, I don't think people understand that, yes, the fathers have done great work, but I'm doing what God gave me to do. If you look at what I do, I have never needed anyone's platform or anyone's credibility. I don't. I've never, I've never gone to somebody so that they can validate me. For what? Look at my events. The event I went to was big, but I do even bigger events. But it wasn't the point of that. I was, my presence was demanded. And I went there in honor because I honor fathers, not because I need anything. <laughs> anoint me. <laughs> Bless me absolutely. Could he anoint me? Absolutely. I wouldn't refuse if he wanted to put oil on me and say, may father take, father take him even further. No, I will celebrate it. But you know, when you are filled with evil in your heart, you start making statements that are foolish. Uh, anointed by T.D. Jakes. Even if he did, what's the problem? <laughs> you see, when you are just full, filled with evil, you actually only produce evil. Credibility, me. <laughs> look at me. Do I look like I need anyone's approval? I don't do anything because it will please anyone. I do what God wants me to do. I've never been one that looks for people to co-sign me. Oh, now I preached in this person's church, so I will blow up. Do you know how many requests of preaching I get? Benny knows it. They don't even show it to me anymore. I tell them, listen, I don't preach for anyone unless it is family or somebody I love. I will not preach for them because I don't need money. Most of your pastors go to church to church because that's how they make a living. I don't make a living like that. And it's not bad doing that. A worker is worth his wages. There's nothing wrong with that. But that doesn't, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. If they are praying for you, they are serving God on your behalf, take care of them. It's a good thing. Nothing wrong with them, with that. But I don't do that for any of that stuff. Many times when I go to churches, I end up blessing them. And I've, and I've said this openly. There's only one pastor that shocked me. One, and I will say it. Pastor Jamal Brandt is the only one that shocked me. Uh -huh. I preached for him, flew, by, flew my whole team. We went there, did our thing, and we left. And I don't know how this man found one of my accounts. And I was looking after three weeks, four weeks, I'm looking, okay. Then I'm like, wait, where did this 80,000 come from? Now, it was a good gesture, not because I need that. Last night, I was at my grandfather's house. Late at night, I took something to him. <laughs> and I was with my little brother, Charles. 
and we were having a good time. So I've been joking with him because he has one of his favorite cars, and I always pull his leg on that. He said, Lovie, I'm going to give you this when, when, I, when I depart. I said, Bishop, I don't want anything from you when you die. I, it won't be enjoyable, and I don't want you to die. May you live forever. He said, he said you know what? I'll buy you another one. I was like, no, Bishop, just let go of that one. <laughs> So that's always our discussion. So I was like, Lovey, I will give you, you know what? I'll buy you another. I said, I don't want another. I want the one you drove, that one. I said, man, I said, you just let it sit there and just look at you. I said, no, Bishop, I, it, let that one go. He said, all right, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to give you a hundred thousand. I said, Bishop, no, give me that one. We are not after money. I don't need any, for me, it's, it's not that I can't go and buy what me and my grandfather joke about. I can buy 10 of them if I want. But it means more for me where something comes from than me buying it. I don't know if you're understanding. It's more sentimental in that way. But you see, when your heart is filled with evil and you, and you see you're, you're trying to kill people in the name of Jesus, in the name of defending God, you are cursed. Not because somebody put anything on you or somebody is cursing you. You're putting it on yourself. And you can hear the, the, the beautiful old man of faith praying, Father, as you have sent them into the vineyard, give them the strength to do this and this. Amen. A group of people. You say satanic. You know when you're filled with evil, God will stand before you and you say Satan. It's true. You see it with Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, as you have sent them out, even if it was a drunk standing, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, you call that Satan, something is wrong with you. Nobody recognizes Jesus as Lord except by the Spirit of God. What is wrong with the church? You know the church... <laughs> How foolish are we? <laughs> I think this new breed of warlocks Satan has released are the most credible Christians because they use the name of Jesus without consequences. I just said something. <laughs> anyway, let me go back because that was just funny to me. It just came randomly. But hear me by the Spirit of God. And to be honest with you, you, many of them want to be mentioned so that they can get recognition. I don't mention foolish people. So, so hear me by the Spirit of God. Hear me by the Spirit of God. Yeah, so that's just it. So, Prophet Lovi, as you've heard. So, one of the questions there is that uh, there's a part that he said that, first of all, he, it wasn't in his plan to go actually to that uh, Bishop Jake's let me just say meeting, but uh, he's saying out of, out of honor. So the question is out of honor who? Because it sounds like someone definitely might have uh, really insisted for now Prophet Lovi to go. And then the other question that it raises is that why did, didn't he want to go initially? Because he just said it as this, at the start of the video. If you've not checked that one out, you can just rewind to that part and just have a look at it. He said it himself. He said that he didn't, first of all, want to go. So he was aware if it was a program, if it was a meetup, whatever it was, he was aware of that. But he didn't want to go. But he's saying out of honor, he did that. So honor to who? Was it to his dad who is now Passion Java? Maybe Passion Java insisted. So that is actually a question. And then the other question is why didn't he want to go the first place? If now... Uh, you have heard just the rest of the video. He's saying, yes, that was the man of God. He had laid hands on us. And uh, in respect of uh, everything that that uh, Bishop Jex did, has done for Jesus and everything, it was actually a great thing. So I, I'm, I'm not opposing that. But you see from his own words, he's saying that at first he wasn't, he, he wasn't really, he, he, did, he didn't have the intention to attend it in the first place. So, those two questions are very major questions, but definitely I don't know if they'll just remain unanswered or what.
But if you have an idea of what was up, you can just let us know on the comment section. Because from the latest scandal where Bishop Jakes and um, PDD White brought a lot of questions, even uh, the allegations that Bishop Jakes attends those DD parties. And uh, even uh, we've seen so there, there's another producer who actually pressed, he pressed charge on PDD and uh, he kind of exposed what was going on on those DD parties. And I'm telling you, those had very crazy things. Those, I'm telling you that is not a place for any Christian, leave alone a bishop in that caliber. It was, it's not a place for any Christian. And then now, according to that producer, I think he's called Rodney or something. Definitely, if you want me to do that video, I can just get uh, more details in that video and I can be able to do for you that video. But according to that producer, what he was saying is that you see in those DD parties, they were full of cameras everywhere. Cameras of, uh, apart from everything that is going on in those parties, but also just showing the people in attendance and everything. So if you're part of those DD parties, there's no way you can just come out and just uh, gladly expose because you see, if, even for you yourself, there are crazy things that happens in those parties that you have to be part of. And you being part of those crazy things means that you're being filmed with or without your consent. So they have those films of you. So anytime it's, 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 it's like, uh, um, uh, <laughs> with all due respect, and it's just my opinion, just my opinion, but with all due respect, it's like a way of just keeping you silent. You see, if I have this clip on you, then definitely you can just go out and speak about whatever is going on inside here. So that one is one of the reasons that uh, really shows the protection of what was happening in those daily parties. Lecrae as well, came out and he said that also him used to attend some of those DD parties and he called them freak offs and he just announced that they were really 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 crazy if you've seen that like Chris said that with his own mind so that clearly shows you that there are christians who always attend who have been attending those DD parties and they're quite crazy so for the allegation that uh, bishop jex was part of that and that he was very close with pdd is it a lie really if uh so there's already, there's been some proofs here and there, not direct proofs, but there have been proofs here and there that shows definitely some Christians have been attending those daily parties because the whole scandal actually comes in uh, with such kind of, um, with such kind of allegation of Bishop Jets being part of those daily parties with him being involved with PDD and XYZ. So you all know that. So for that man to lay hands on you, <laughs> At such a time like this because you, we all know that uh, that story is still in the air that story has not yet been cleared out of the air so and then now you have that man just laying hands on you so what is what is he transferring to you <laughs> so what is he transferring to you really but anyway but anyway but anyway but anyway me uh, i i i i don't have an issue with uh first of all prophet lovi i don't have an issue with prophet lovi I've always been in love with uh, Prophet Lovi and his ministry and everything, but uh, that doesn't mean that he's perfect and excellent. That could have been just one of those uh, moves that probably maybe he shouldn't have made. Yeah, and he said it himself. He said that he was, first of all, he was hesitant. So probably he could have just followed that hesitation and not probably attend because definitely it raises a lot of questions. It brings in a lot of confusion to many women who follow him globally yeah so i love to hear what you think about his response so that is his response about uh that moment that he had with bishop jake so i like to hear what you have to say about it right there in the comment section what do you think about this don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the platform if you haven't see you in the next video and stay blessed